Hello, welcome to the sketchbook tour. I'll attempt to show you all the pieces in my sketchbook while providing some insight on them. They're not all great, just fair warning. They're just experimental sometimes for complete failures. Okay. The first page of my sketchbook is just stickers I've collected. Um, this one was off of Etsy and it's by Let's see, let's see if I can get it out here. By Vector That Fox. Here's some good designs. And the people who know me personally know I collect a lot of little dead insects or birds or skulls I find out here in the desert. Um, this sketchbook was started July 5th. 2018, and I just finished it yesterday, October 31st, 2019, and it was largely due to October. Go to the next page, you'll see all my little swatches to see how my supplies work. They're not great, but you know, it's a cheap notebook, it's thin paper, you can see through it. Not every single piece I'm going to have something to say, so I'll just stop on the ones I do. These were the first two. Um, a lot of the pieces you'll see are cut. That's because sometimes I'll draw something too small, and like off-center, or I don't like the way it's framed on the page. It's just lack of foresight on my, on my part. These were done with uh, my micron pens and just pencil. This was when I first got it. Um, this page, you'll see a lot of black pages too. They're cover-ups. There's probably like three different images I attempted on this page, and then I just covered it up and decided to do something else because I didn't want to look at it. Um, this one's the Colubar Constrictor. It's technically a black snake, but I kind of inverted it to match the black background. Another cover-up page. You'll see a lot of those. This one I'm not too fond of. Um, I kind of just kept playing with it, just experimenting with things. It's not horrible. This is a pencil, just figure studies. Another pencil, hand study. I like hands. I need to draw more flowers, I've decided. I don't do it often. Another piece where it was just a pencil drawing, came back, went over it, kept playing around with it, ended at a spot I didn't really like. <laughs> oh, here's another one. It was originally a pencil, and then I went in with pen, and then I decided, hey, let's add color, and then it was an an alcohol ink, so it made the pen from before bleed. It's just playing around because, you know, not my favorite. <laughs> this one is a small version of a painting I still haven't gotten back to. It's a giant canvas and maybe one day I'll get back to it, but this was to remind me of what it's supposed to look like somewhat. This is actually thicker than all the other pages because it is a postcard or like an image card stock thing that came in the mail and I was like, hey, I'll just do something over that. It's a little girl's face with like orange hair and I just decided to do it over it, see if I could do a skull on it. This is probably something I was covering up, which is probably why I pasted that photo in there. Uh, just more messing around. Not too fond of this one. Another cover-up of something else. <laughs> Told you you'd see a lot of that.
This is another cover up, but it's also a no fear sketch. So I don't really sketch what it is prior. I just go in and start scribbling, take it where it goes. I like that because it lets me be less controlling. Another fair screw or fair free one where I just go in and doodle. I like the concept of like bodies in motion when they're falling. So I'd like to paint or do something more with that. I hate this one, so we'll just scrap scrap by that one. <laughs> I like this one. But like I, I posted it before, but it's really hard to get an accurate representation of it. This one's in pencil, but it also has a UV ink, like pen drawing over it. But I lost the black light, so I can't show you that now. Sometimes I just like to play around with color. This is actually, I think, one of my favorite drawings in the sketchbook. I just love the composition and how it turned out. There's mistakes still, but overall I like it. This is testing out markers and muscles. Ignore the shoes, they're horrible. This was playing around with gouache or gouache or however you want to say it. But I like the paint because it allows me to mix it and it reactivates. But I spray it with like a top coat so it doesn't smudge around. Um, so this was a dead bird I found on our porch. I still have it in the garage. It's just dried out now. But it's another just going in without a sketch type drawing, which was covering up Another one, and you can probably tell what it is, it's from Fifth Element. Um, I never posted this one, I don't think. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Something's off. This was a pencil drawing, and then I came back later and added pen and color. I like it. I don't really draw a whole lot of wrinkly people, but it's fun. I like this heart. It's also with gouache. It's just very, I got to spend time doing highlights and speckles and it's my favorite part is adding the details. This is kind of a self-portrait. You can say there's a deeper meaning, but it's just something to look at that I like. <laughs> More about the aesthetics, I guess. This is another picture that was cut because it was so tiny on the page and so weirdly positioned. It wasn't originally colored or zombied, but I got sick of looking at it and I messed around with it. I kind of like it better now. This is Beetlejuice. It's done about almost a year ago. I drew this when my cat little kitten, he was sleeping next to me. I don't really draw a whole lot of animals, but I've been trying. They're easier because I'm less of a perfectionist about it. This is a cover-up of something else. Also a no fear thing. I think they're so cute. I draw a lot of albino animals on these black pages because they're in white. This is another one of my favorites. It's very simple. You've seen that like positioned one better. On Instagram. Sometimes I just don't feel like drawing the rest. Should really plan it out more. This was like a glitch one. Like each piece is shifted slightly. I like the concept, but I didn't really like how it turned out. 
The gold's pretty cool in person. I like doing gold eyes. Um, this is actually two pages. This was one that I hated, and then the other one wasn't bad, but I used a paint pen and then I closed it before it was dried, so it got stuck. And then that became the no page. <laughs> this is another one I like. It's not really creative, it just saw a photo light and decided to sketch it. This one I did way after the fact, as you can see by the date. It goes from October 18 to January 19. Sometimes I'll flip through my book and just cover up. It used to be a skeleton, but not good. Uh, this was a pencil, and then I went over with color, and then I was like, hmm, I still don't like it, so I don't really look at it. <laughs> but I do like the way it blended and the eyes turned out the colors were pretty cool. This is another gouache painting. I got really impatient, so it's like mainly face, and then I was too impatient for it to dry, and it just kept blotching out. Here's another cover-up way after the fact. I mean, it's interesting, not the best. It was covering a bruised hand that didn't turn out that great. Also with alcohol markers. This is colored pencil. I like this one. I drew this foot forever ago, back whenever I did that. Then I came in with watercolor to mess around. Here's another one that was cut weird because of the positioning on the page. This was when one of the people I follow were having like a challenge thing to draw this in my style. I really like her. It's Tati the Overlord. Here's another gouache painting. It's a, a cat in the womb. It was covering up something else, I believe. It used to have a weird cutout of another page that would cover it. Um, I originally did this with like pen, but it was really sketchy and then it came in again. So it goes May and then July. I like this one. I like the sketchiness. I like the colors. I kind of experimented with that more in the future. This was after about a month or two of not doing anything. And I was like, I'll just do a quilt I found. This was the next painting I did, or piece I did after that. I like it. Once again, not really that creative. Just found a photo I liked, kind of tweak it and stylized it a little. Another gouache painting of another animal that you guys never see. <laughs> I recorded this one. His jaw is jutting out a whole lot. Not particularly happy. I also cut it because I didn't like the way it was framed. <laughs> um, just some studies. I think lips and hair and also feet are my three least favorite things to do. Lips, there's just a lot of shadows to do. I can do them, just not enjoyable. Hair, I can also it's just a lot of strands and shading and something I just like to block in. And this was just a little design. I started with a black background and then I was like, okay, what do I do now? And that's what happened. Watercolor. Just messing around, trying to see how it works. Because I never work with watercolor. Now they're messing around trying to see how it works. I did this one when at the beach that my sister was camping at. Because I don't 
like the sun. <laughs> it was hot. And beachy. This was in San Diego. I like the scratchiness. This is my first, what I call my first official watercolor piece because I took the time instead of just kind of slapping it and trying to, everything else was just practice and figuring out how much water and what certain things did. It also has red pen to define things a little, but not too much. I like it. Another self-portrait, just playing around with some things. I like doing overlays, but they're hard to capture by photograph, at least. You also see the white pen I have makes it kind of blue when I go over for highlights. So you'll see that quite a bit. Here's another portrait with black pen. I like it. Scratchiness, <laughs> also hard to capture. Um, just felt like practicing feet and if you ever look at ballerina's feet, they're always so beat up and bruised and interesting to look at. So I decided to study it. This is my father. Um, I just wanted to draw one I was on vacation. And he was there, so. I like this one. It's tiny. Also not that creative, but I was just studying. I like how the shadows and the cross hatching and everything. Some pencil eye drawings for studies. I like this one. I don't mess around with color a lot, but I got a multi pen. It has like eight colors on it. And I really like the difference of colors and textures another one and it's been as much time because it's more spaced and it was just a dude who had a very interesting face here's something I never do and it is a landscape I did it with alcohol markers underneath with pen layered up on top there was white highlights originally for like flowers and clouds but it faded over time. I like it, kind of. Here's one I was just messing around with. I don't know why I added shapes. And then I did a yellow one, and then I, it kind of looked like a sun, and then it's like, it kind of also looks like a pineapple. So that's what it became. This is the start of Inktober. This was ring. And I did prosthetic eye rings. Mindless. Bait. Here's another one where my highlights turned blue. Uh, this was frozen yeah, or freeze. This was build. This was husky. Originally, I didn't post this one. I took it as like a husky person and it's like a skeleton wearing a husky human suit. And I said, like, I don't really want to post it. It's hard to post long photos, at least in my opinion. So I ended up posting this one, which is just a husky skull with really messed up teeth. <laughs> this was Enchanted. Yes. I like this. I'm not completely fond of how it turned out, but I like the idea. This was frail. I like it. I like the inky, splotchy, like sketchy style. Been trying to figure out how to do it more physically on paper. <laughs> Whereas, um, this was Swing. Don't like this one, but people seem to like it. <laughs> uh, pattern. I was trying to focus on the pattern. So it's very simple. This is Snow. I did a Snow Owl. 
I think I was covering up something else that I sketched out weird. So this dragon. Ash. Ashy hand. Can't really tell. The highlights have disappeared. This was a redo of Overgrown. Yes. This was watercolor. Or not watercolor, but ink wash. This is Legend. I did the Legend or Robin Williams. This was Wild. It's blue because I sketch in blue. And also because I think maybe because of highlights around the ears. This one, my pen deceived me and it did it way after the fact. That was the highlight and it just smeared the ink after it dried. So that's cool. Oh, that was ornament. <laughs> This was Misfit. It's three different faces kind of mismatched and fit together. Sling. I really like the hand on this one for some reason. I'm not sure how this goes. This was Tread. Treasure. You don't see that because I do it in black and white, but I do that a lot. Instead of just ink washing, I'll just scribble some color, and then when it's black and white, it looks like wash. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. This was Ghost. This one is Ancient. He's not that old, but he had wrinkles. <laughs> this one is empty because it's a two-page spread. I like it. I also don't like it. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I really hate it. So whatever, it's dizzy. This one has a giant forehead because I didn't feel like doing hair. This one was bite tasty. <laughs> um, this is dark. It's dark. And he's blindfolded, so he's seeing in the dark too coat. Like it, hate it. Don't like it. Ride. Uh, this one's dark, but I like it. I like physically dark to see. That was injured. Catch. I play around with them after I post or decide I don't like it. I like the idea. This is ripe and the last page. So that's pretty much it. Oh, this is the last page technically. It's just different places I've been with this sketchbook to sketch. That's it. So I'll be ripping out, or not ripping, but cutting out certain pages for family members or people I know in real life <laughs> that want pages. But that's pretty much it. I'll be working on the next sketchbook, and it'll probably be forever a ways before I'm finished with that one, too. This is the first one I ever finished, so getting there. <laughs>